So let's look at the um, issues around Ghana settling inflation, which uh, for January, which came in today at a surprisingly low of 53.6, really. That's a 20-month low. The inflation uh, level uh, data comes as the government uh, reported 80% registration for its domestic local debt swap program. And the city the local currency turning the corner a little bit. So, are things getting a little bit a lot easier? And let's take all of that onto the market streets in Ghana. My, let's get Fred Duval, the CEO at Apacan Securities, in now for a conversation around all of this and a, a bit more. And nice having you on the show tonight from Accra. It's been quite some time since the new year started, my friend. Yes, it has, it has. I hope you're well. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, my friend. You, I'm sure you know about the uh, the whole physical naira cash uh, uh, scarcity. So if you get a couple of naira notes that I could use, uh, I wouldn't mind uh, you getting them over to me. You're not so far in Accra, by the way. I could use some cash right now um, if that's available. But but I'm sure I'm, I'm happy to see the January inflation report for Ghana showing a deceleration to 53.6. Where did it surprising dip? dip? Where did it come from? Um, well, I, I believe the decline um, in the headline inflation can generally be attributed to a higher base effect from uh, 2022. Um, also, uh, well, let's not forget that there was a sharp appreciation of the city against the dollar in December of last year, which uh, brought about uh, some decline in prices of food all other pumps and um, other general market um, price um, um, reduction. So with respect to January's inflation, um, there was a significant decline in um, inflation for housing and utilities um, of about 71%. And that the transport um, inflation also dropped by 68%. And these were the key drivers to the inflation and the, the decline um, or the deceleration in inflation uh, for January because they make up about 20% of the CPI basket. So, what um, what yeah, about food? Well, um, food inflation went up. Food inflation went up by about 60% um, uh, year on year. But I think the, the decline on um, the non-food the non part of the basket declined about 200 basis points. And this was largely driven by the housing and utility and the transport, as I mentioned earlier. So their, their declines was enough to offset the um, uh, price increases in food to for us to see that marginal um, decline in inflation between um, December and January. Um, we still expect that the base effect will support um, the disinflation, disinflationary part. But um, local currency pressures um, pose a certain level of risk to the inflation outlook. Uh, in terms of day-to-day -day inflation on the streets, the realities in, on ground in Ghana right now, how is the inflation in your pocket on your dinner table? Uh, well, to be fair, last year uh, we, ex we experienced a certain level of price appreciation um, in the markets that we hadn't experienced in decades, um, if I may say, especially towards the end of the year when the city um, took a steep um, hit against the, the US dollar. There were reports of um, price changes on a daily basis. You go to a shop, um, you want to buy an item. Um, today, the price that is quoted, tomorrow you go, there's a different price quoted to you. So we experienced that, um, we experienced that last year. Um, We lost we'll you there momentarily. Uh, Fred Duval, uh, licensed dealer and head of uh, dealing CEO at Apacan Securities uh, Limited, talking to us about the latest inflation uh, out of Ghana, a deceleration to uh, 53.6 in the month of January. The latest data came in today. Fred, you were talking about the inflation, food inflation remaining sticky around 60%, despite uh, a few notches down, uh, a few other items in the in the basket. So the the, the key conversation 
conversation is around how real inflation, how inflation is real as far as the pockets and the, tea, the breakfast dinner table is concerned for ordinary uh, Ghanaians. That is a whole lot of issue. But the city is also seen a bit of a pressure over the past um, couple of months, in particular for 2022, posting one of the worst case local currency unit against the US dollar, globally speaking, last year. Now, the government announced that uh, domestic uh, swap, local swap, uh, local debt swap program, which is uh, was moved over a couple of uh, deadlines. Now, the final deadline seems to have been uh, coming to place with the government reporting that about 80% of the swap uh, registration had been done by local uh, 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 local uh, investors. So that's one good news that, of course, we're looking at seeing from Ghana as we speak. So, Fred, let's get back to you if you can uh, if you can get me back on the on the line as far as this um, uh, is uh, uh, concerned. But let's uh, just take a quick dip into the break and then we'll come back. It will get uh, Fred Dufo from Upper Can Securities back in the uh, studios. Uh, Fred Dufo, thank you so much. Uh, we, we got you back on the line. Sometimes the internet could get a little, internet of things could get a little bit very uh, sticky sometimes. Fred, you there for me. So let's just uh, move on and talk about the CD. How is it trading right now in terms of uh, parity or exchange rate against the US dollar? What's your outlook on the CD in the near to medium term? Um, um, so in, in January, the CD took a bit of a beating against the USD. Um, it recorded a depreciation of about uh, 12%. Um, however, in this um, um, in February, we've seen that slow down quite a bit. The month to date depreciation against the US dollar in February has just been about 2.7%. Like so on a year to date basis, the city has uh, declined by about 16.5%, which is um, not the best, but compared to what we experienced um, last year, um, relatively it's better. On the outlook, um, a lot really depends on how quickly uh, we will be able to um, get an IMF board approval for the three billion balance of payment um, uh, facility from the IMF. If we secure this in Q1 um, and, or early Q2, then I believe that it will give the city a bit of a stability compared to what, what, what we experienced last year. Yeah, I've seen the stock market, the Ghana stock market, all share index dip in and out of positive uh, territory over the last couple of one, two weeks. So I was asking myself, is the market looking for a breakout? Is some good news coming around the corner? How is the stock market, the fixed income, looking at all of these investors with the whole local debt program? Now 80%, at least in terms of registration done for that swap. Put it all together for me on your market table. Um, well, I mean, I wish I wish I could say I was, I'm, I'm bullish on both markets, uh, both the fixed income and the equity markets are uh, literally dead. To be generous, um, we, we news came out yesterday that Fitch has further downgraded um, Ghana local currency debt from C to a, a restricted default. Um, the government yesterday announced that um, uh, gladly it, it met its 80 uh, percent target for the debt exchange program. However, it had to uh, further extend the settlement date when, for about a week to allow all the administrative processes um, to be completed um, to see um, how the new bonds will settle. So bond trading on the fixed income market has been non-existent. Um, activity, in my estimation, has declined by about 85% compared to where it was um, last year, just before the announcement of the debt exchange uh, program. I, I personally do not foresee foreign investors trooping in to invest in government debt anytime soon, um, unless perhaps when we go under the IMF program, it will um, reinstill some confidence in our markets and, um, and that may give some confidence to foreign investors to come in. On the, the equity market also is, is no different. The trading volumes have shrunk considerably um, and the market has continued its poor performance as it did um, in 2022. I think last year it closed the year um, at a negative 12%. And as we speak, the year-to-date return is about minus 1.38. So um, it's really not a, not a pleasant time for or, um, investors in the, in the Ghanaian market. But 
hopefully once we sort out our debt situation and we see a little bit of um, activity in the in the economy we may see things turn around maybe from q2 um looking forward okay let, let's keep the hope alive thank you so much fred duval license dealer and ceo at upper security in ghana thank you so much for your time as always have a great evening <laughs>